What is going on, everyone? Mega here from Mega Design Race Openings, and welcome to a, to, to a new game design tutorial. The the links are all in the description, and if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button to receive updates for when I post new videos. And you can also check mm, check out my Twitter. The the mm, the links are all in the description. Now, in the previous tutorial, we 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 added a, a couple of more things to our to our scene. We from firstly we. We added a couple of desks, and uh, also we created the, this uh, door and window. And in, in, in between the, the this mm, uh, 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 off screen, I, I actually added like a lot more desks because I wanted my my desk to to, to be about twenty five desks in, in the room, and I and I didn't want to do do that on on camera because that would be like watching paint paint dry. So, so I just uh, just did a do, do control D and like added all all these desks to the to the room. And now in in this tutorial, we're we're, we're going to be talking uh, about normals, and we're going and then we're going to be going in, in, into texturing. Now, what are normals? Normals are basically like the the direction each of your faces are 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 facing because. And, and and you want to to texture it, um, make sure that your normals are facing the right direction, because if you texture texture it on the wrong the on the wrong side, then when you import it into Unity, your 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 like uh, object will, will have um, I invisible walls, or, or like well or whatever um, part 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 of your object was has, has um, reverse nor normals. So you you want to ma make sure that your normals are all correct. Like facing the right direction, and, and and to do that, let me just deselect. No, actually, I need to deselect. <laughs> For first off, I'm going to select, select, select my my walls, and mm, then I'm going to go go to the display, po polygons, face normals, and and you'll you'll see that these mm, these like green lines have been added to to, to my walls. Now, it, 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 if you're you're now if you're a mm, Normal lines are like extremely small. You can easily just go to 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 display polygons and normal size, and I recommend bumping that up all the uh, as much as you want. Currently, mine's it, it, I I didn't need to do do that because mine's I I actually did it beforehand, and and I set it up all all, all the way, and then I de deselected it. So that's why, and so once I Bumped up my normal size all the way. It, it it set it so so that this is the 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 default size for when I reselect it again. So if I was to go go to normal size, I could actually make it bigger than than what it currently is. Even though by default I set it to to to, to the max size. So yeah, just just if you're if you're like normal boxes are. I mean, normal arrows are are too small. Then you can just increase the size, and so you can see that which which direction your 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 faces are. And just by looking at this, I can see that my 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 room is my walls are all facing the right direction. So I can go ahead and and texture and check the walls. But let me check check everything just to make sure. So go right here. And again, display polygons. Uh, where is it? Face normals. There we go. And this is what I meant that your your normals are extremely small. You you can't even see see, see that it's right there. So let's definitely increase that size. And bump that up all the way. And now we can see that it it is facing it inward. Which is what I want, and we're gonna do this for every object in in the scene. <laughs> All right, display icons, face normals, and I can see this one is yeah, it's facing the right direction. So yeah, I can move on to the next one. Now you'll notice that I'm I'm not increasing the size anymore because I I can I can already tell by just zooming in which uh, direction it's facing. 
and yeah, the, yeah, that's the right direction. Okay, so now go to this one, and this one was a part of my original normal selection. So you can see that yeah, this is facing the right direction. This one I'm gonna have to do display normals, face normals. Now one thing I could have done is I could have just selected everything and do it that and like select display normals that way. So I didn't have to do it, do it this way, but but I just just so, so you can see I I did it this way. But I highly recommend for you to like select everything and then do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's good. Select this one. And yeah, I'll increase the size on this one also. Yeah, that's good. Okay. No, just that one. Okay, that one's good. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> now I didn't do the normal size. There we go. Yep, that one's good. And now the one last thing. Oh wait, I forgot this, this one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to increase the size on that one. Damn it. There we go. Yep, that one's good. And yeah, that one's a, a part of my original mesh, so yeah, the normals on that one is good. Yeah, that one's good. And now this one. Now for this, now for the desk, since, since these are all do duplicates, I, I, I only need, need to do it for for one thing, but for, for one thing, but before I do the desk, let me do this one. Polygons, face normals, and then polygons, Normal size. Huh. Let me try it again. That's weird. It didn't show up. Oh, there we go. Now I see it. Yeah, you you want to make sure before you texture everything, you want to make sure that your normals are all facing the right direction. Because if you once you import into Unity, it's gonna screw everything up if you don't have it facing the right direction. And then I'm not too worried about the test since since I actually downloaded this model, but it, it's also it's good practice to check everything. Yeah, the this one is pretty good. All right, and now it, everything's ready. Good, good to go. So we can move on to the texturing. Now, for for texturing, there there are two basic there 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 are basically two two methods for for texturing. There is regular texturing where you just choose choose like a a regular character or a regular color straight in straight in Maya and like just texture it with, with just basic color. Mm. Or you can do a, 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 a UV mapping texture. Now, UV mapping, I'm not going to be covering in this tutorial because that's a whole other thing. We, we, we are going to have to do some UV mapping from, for the floor and the clock and stuff. But, but for like the walls, we're, we're just going to do like a regular texture. So we're not going to do, have to worry about UVs. So, and that's all I'm going to cover in, in, in this tutorial. Because for, 
for like some some of these textures are going to be a little bit complicated to do some, like for example the glass mm, currently it's it sets mm, so that mm, this is it's right on top of, of of this and we need to set set this so it's like its own face and stuff and then we need to texture that for, for the glass so it's going to be a little bit complicated so so i'm just gonna mm, just quickly do do I, i'm not gonna do the, the, this wall because of because of these, it's gonna be a little bit complicated with, with these windows because i have to make a, a face for each of these windows mm. because actually i might not have to let me just mm, go to face mode yeah i i i i knew it yeah i'm gonna have to create a a, a, a face the shape of these these windows to in order to texture in order to separate the the wall from from the windows because currently the the walls and the windows are one face and i don't want that i i want it to be like this see how it, it currently is and, and i'm gonna have to edit this even more because it, mm, because i want the it, it to have a face each each window to be its own face and right now it's not like that I think the this one is, is good to go though. Yeah, this one is good to go. Yeah, I, I need to make all my windows like this, like that. But right now it's not like that. So I'm gonna do do this back window, this back wall that I did, because then I don't have to worry about any any doors or windows or or anything. And I actually guess I can also do do this this wall also because it doesn't have anything like that. Yeah. Okay. So to to start, what 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 we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our hyper shader. I got that open up. It's our little ball there, and we're 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 gonna be rendering the the, the scene in 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 R node. So make sure you have your 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 R node. In, 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 in enabled. If if this isn't showing up, then that means your your, your R node isn't enabled. And we we'll refer to our previous tutorial on on how I enabled R, R node because sometimes my unenabled R node and, and you want it to be enabled. So first off, we're gonna go to shader, and we're gonna just choose a, a, a standard AI standard surface shader. And and I'm gonna rename this to to walls and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to color and we're gonna change the color uh, let's see what color do I want I want like a peach color so and just play around with the, the color uh, there we go. Yeah, I like it like that. Okay. So yeah, that's and that's basically it. And if we bump up the weight, it'll, it'll, it'll increase the color. And if we go down to, to to specular, we can actually change how 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 bright the light shines off this object uh, off of this texture I mean if we bump it down it it, 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 it it removes it completely and we actually want this for for we don't our walls are not going to be are going to be actually mm, not very mm, light, 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 light reflecting because if you think about our walls when 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 light light doesn't shine off it like a like a glass like if we left this as it is shine light would shine off it like a, as if it was a glass which we don't want i'm actually going to remove the weight so 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 there's no like light by bouncing off it well actually i'm going to leave a little bit of light so light does bounce off of it but not as much and we can change the roughness to 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 make it so that it, it's not like like a perfect circle and i'm going to leave it like that that's good. I'm gonna leave everything else as as is, and that's pretty good. Good and and that's and now we're good good to go. And so now I'm gonna go go back to my object, and 
by, by scene, and then I'm going to go select the, the walls that, that, that I'm going to texture. Select these faces. And now I'll go 180 degrees. Zoom in on our face. Oh shit. Yeah, make sure that when you when you when you select Yeah, make sure when when you're selecting more faces, make sure you hold on to the shift because then if you don't hold on to shift, you it's going to delete everything you did. Nope. I want to see if I can select it by its by itself. And I'm just going blind here because my I can't really see behind that object. But if you want, you can move your your bookcase so you can see. But I decided not to. And yeah, I'm just going blind here, but that's fine. Actually, you, you don't have to texture everything because these these uh, walls mm, are are not you're not going to be able to see them. The, what, what's behind here, you're actually not going to be able to see. So you can texture it if you want to, but you don't have to texture everything because it's not going to be visible. The only reason I would texture everything, honestly, is is if when you put it in, in, in Unity, if if you can still see see that, that it's untextured, then I would texture it. But right for now, I'm I'm actually gonna leave those that are really hard to texture untextured because it's there's really no point because you can't see it. And now that our walls are selected, the our easy walls that is. <laughs> I'm gonna go go into our. Excuse me. I'm gonna go back to our hyper shader. Then I'm gonna hold shift and select my my texture. Make sure my my textures are still selected. My wall faces are still selected. Then I'm gonna go to right click on the text texture and go assign to material to selection. Assign material to selection. And as you can see, if I go to object mode. Our faces is a uh, our walls are textured, and we're gonna do this for and uh, off screen. I'm gonna do do this for every wall, but but I'm I'm actually you know what actually yeah no yeah I'll do it off screen. Yeah. I'm gonna do be te texturing the this wall and the, this wall right here. Next, I'm gonna be texturing the this wall and. And for and as I said, this one's going to be a little bit complicated because of all the lines I have to make to so 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 I can make the glass texture, which we're gonna we're we're gonna make that completely in in, in Maya as well. And so it's gonna be good. So before we finish, I'm just gonna quickly do this one also because I sh it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then select this this one. Double select, and I'm gonna deselect these because this is the floor, and so that that's gonna be wood. And then select these. Not gonna select the the doors or the windows because that's not what I'm texturing. This one's going to be a lot simpler.
yeah and just that one okay and now it's ready to texture hold on to shift select walls assign material to selection okay and now it's been textured so now we have three walls that, that are fully textured and for, 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 for every object that you're not going to require an image for, you're, you're, you're going to do the same process. It's, you're, you're just going to select your faces and then just uh, assign material to, to selection after you create your texture. But for some, some, some objects, some faces are going to require Im Im images as textures, which is where UV mapping comes into play. But, but, but we're not going to do, 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 do that in this tutorial. It, it, this was just like a basic texturing tutorial. So yeah, and this, that's going to do it, do, it, do it for now. In the next tutorial, actually, before we do the next tutorial, I'm actually going to, off screen, I'm going to fix these faces right here so I, and, and texture this wall so, so that we can do, do the glass texture, which is a bit complicated because we have to make our own mm, shader, which can be a bit complicated, but, but it doesn't have to be complicated. And we're going to take, tackle that on. So yeah, this has been Mega from Mega Examinate's X Openings, and I will see you again next time. Bye.